I was unhappy but comfortable real estate investor who found joy and happiness through brain education. Although I had everything I felt needed, I had a comfortable, beautiful house, investment properties, and managing them. Although I did those things, I couldn't remove this sense of loneliness and deepest feeling of sadness inside. My name is Ilchibuko Tad. I'm a president at Sedona Mago Retreat Center in Sedona, Arizona. How did I get involved with brain education was I was in search for myself for a long time. Only I didn't know where to look. So when it came to the time that my friend became an instructor for brain education, I uh, visited there. One was, I was expecting maybe that this will help me to feel happiness inside of me. And other was just to support her. And I went to the class for the first time with her and my entire life changed after that. The class helped me to relax my brain so much and I felt like I just went through massage. <laughs> so uh, I was really happy and you know when I took the class I didn't know what made the class so special because I went to different type of yoga classes or uh, movement classes but I really didn't like it. But this class only i loved it and i didn't know why i loved it so much i realized that they were simply sharing if i have to say in one word what that was or maybe two words <laughs> unconditional love that was the key to turn my life around and ever since then, I took classes a lot. And then next thing I knew, I was sharing the classes to many people. So another event that led me to be so much deeply involved with brain education was when I visited Sedona Mago Retreat Center and took a course that is related to brain education. There, I felt the sense of being one with me, who I truly am, in the deepest level, which I cannot explain with words, but only be felt through connectedness with the self, and that turns into the connectedness with everyone. I began to be the person who share this experience to every person I meet. And that has been the most joyful thing in my life. So that is how I began uh, sharing brain education. Although I had everything I felt needed, I used to go on vacation and travel to different places. I had a comfortable, beautiful house, a few uh, investment properties and managing them. Um, I had people who cared so much, who loved me. Although I did those things, I couldn't remove this sense of loneliness and deepest feeling of sadness inside. I was miserable, comfortable, unhappy real estate investor and when i met brain education my whole world changed so when i met brain education i begin to become joyful and happy just being myself so what was the uh, major change I began to look within myself for happiness, where all my life 
I thought happiness was obtaining something or getting something from outside. I was able to detach myself from that loneliness or、uh, sadness or anger or all of that emotions that made me confused and frustrated. But being able to, without running away from it, I was able to observe it and、um, even embrace it. Heal it, love it, and、uh, able to let go and focus on what it matters to me most, which is connecting to myself. And it sounds a little bit selfish, just focus on yourself, <laughs> isn't it? But the one who cannot focus, truly focus on self. Cannot focus on others, so being able to focus on myself truly is actually love and loving yourself. So when you can love yourself as you are, you can love others too for who they truly are. My favorite brain education principle is that I'm the master of my own life. Which means that I'm responsible for everything that I've created, with my consciousness, with my emotion, with my thoughts. With that, I was able to take back my brain and、uh, seeing everything from that mindset. So, no longer being the victim of environment and circumstances that I'm making everything. With that. My life feels hopeful, and、um, I can share what I truly choose and deliver it and creating my life intentionally. The suggestion to the daily practice:、uh, before you do any practice, I suggest that every moment you want to. Check in with yourself, where your mind is. So no matter how many great things you you may be doing, and、uh, how many times you do practice, when you're missing this mindset, you could be not happy or miserable doing it. So my recommendation is to stop and breathe. And connect, talk to that self existing inside. So I want to call it true self, your true nature. Please communicate with that true nature, and intentionally choose this bright mind or bright consciousness. And then look at your life, what you need to do, and then you will be willing. More than willing to do that practice because the practice is absolutely needed to grow your soul, or the sharing is coming from your soul that you truly want to care for another person. So you will not always get back to that place inside and then live your life. So that is my recommendation for any practice. I was unhappy. But comfortable real estate investor who found joy and happiness through vacation.